Previously on Stein's Gate. Soft and squishy bananas, huh? Soft and soft and squishy, but banana. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. My UC, say your banana's all soft and squishy for me. Please, do this for me, please. I'm begging you. And now back to fucking up history. Hello! The Sneaker Bee, back with some more Stein's Gate. We last left off, we learned that Kurisu has miraculously survived. And we learned a little bit more about time traveling and the various theories surrounding it. Uh, by Carissa herself, nonetheless. And, oh, we also tried to lift up Carissa's shirt, and she smacked us in the balls. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, after listening to her lecture, I guess we're just headed back home now, but, uh, I, I'll, I don't really understand what's going on exactly. I, I figure that it's, it's, it's something, got something to do with our phone. I'm wondering, did my phone get switched out with something, or is it, like, are the stars aligned with, like, just with my certain cell phone signal, and for some reason that's, like, Jumping through the space-time continuum, through the morphogenetic fields. Remember that shit? <laughs> Fucking Junpei. Damn it, Junpei. Um, anyway, uh, I ended up listening to all of Kurisu's lecture at ATF. After the two time travel theories she introduced at the beginning, she explained the rest with equal eloquence. It seemed a little nervous at first, but that quickly changed as she spoke. By the end, it was an impressive lecture. So impressive that you wouldn't even think wouldn't think it was an 18-year-old's first time. She did well to respond to my malicious questions with sarcasm. She's got guts. Wait, why am I praising her? Damn it! <clears throat> Leaving that aside, I saw Makise Kurisu dead. And yet she is alive. My memory doesn't. Don't, my memories don't mesh well with reality. And yet, and not just about Kurisu, but my conversation with Dawa and Mayuri didn't make sense either. Everything would be solved if I just told myself that what I saw was a dream, an illusion. It never happened. But never say never. This leaves me with no choice. Huh. Oh, hey, look, I'm at the temple in Persona 4. <laughs> Oh look, there's the fox right there! <laughs> he springs to life. <laughs> Here comes the fucking fox! <laughs> After part ways with Daru at ATF, I head to the Yanabashi Shrine. I need to get exercise. <laughs> what? I seriously doubt that Mikisa Kurisu at ATF was a ghost. Regardless, it's natural to seek an exorcism after such an experience. I'm Japanese. It's in our blood. <laughs> really? Is that the go-to thing in Japanese culture? I believe it's like a spirit. Inamashi Shrine is located on the other side of Kanda River. To find it, to find it, I enter the first side road after crossing Mensa, Mensabashi Bridge. It's a very small shrine that doesn't fit with the surrounding multi-tenant buildings. Kanda Myojin is the most famous shrine in Akiba, but I deliberately chose this one. This shrine is so small that you could easily miss it if you weren't looking. Regardless, I can hear the chirpings of the cicada from the few trees growing here. Uh, it's it's Ocarine! Dutaru! <laughs> there are two girls standing in front of the main building. One of them is Mayuri. And the other one is Rukia from Bleach. No. The other is a docile looking beauty in traditional Miko attire. Uh, Ura, Ura, oh my god. Ura Shiba, Ura Shiba Luka, Ura Shiba, god. Japanese names are hard, man. <laughs> what happened to, what? I feel like, if I, is there ever a Japanese name that's just one syllable? Huh? Just one thing? Like Fred, or Bob, or Jim. <laughs> Stunning example of feminine, char feminine charm and grace. Lips delicate like cherry blossoms and bloom. The essence of Japanese beauty. The chief priest's son. We are gonna get giggity. That's right, son. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> oh! Ah, got you again, Nico. Ah! Motherfucker! Every fucking time! I feel like this is gonna end very badly for me if this just continues, you know? I'm just gonna, just gonna wake up one day and there's like, she's like, oh, hey, look at that. I remembered you being a vagina last night. Oh, uh, well. Love you in every way, but he's a guy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously, I fall for that every single time. I'm never going to get I'm just never going to get it. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh, okay. So, what do I give? What do I give you? I should just assume it. I'm just going to give him, I guess, an effeminate sounding guy's voice. <laughs> Which is my girl's voice, pretty much. Good morning, Okaba-san. I'll do like, yeah, that works. He bows his head. Voice of a girl, the mannerisms of a girl. Oh. Well, more feminine than any girl I know. But he's a guy! <laughs> I 
I must keep telling myself that. I must keep telling my penis that. Damn it! Stop! <laughs> Taller than Yuri, yet oh so slender. But he's a guy! <laughs> Looks stunning in Miko robes. But he's a guy, 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 but he's He's a friend of mine. I call him Lukaku. I met. We met when, when I rescued him from some aggressive photographers in Akiba's pedestrian heaven. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna look that up because. Where's that? Some neighborhoods of Tokyo, such as Aki, Akihabara, close to major streets on busy shopping days, is effectively turned the street into a big sidewalk facilitating pedestrian access. Oh, alright. It also so happens that Lukaku and Miyuri are classmates. I learned that fact that after I had gotten to know him. <laughs> But I had to find out the hard way that he had a penis. <laughs> Lukaku was taken aback by my sharp question. He starts fidgeting with a flush fade and tears in his eyes. Um, you mean Demon Sword Samadere? Correct. I bought it for you so you could learn to control your power. <laughs> oh yeah, you bought it at Playworks, right? I think you said it cost 980. Don't say another word anymore and they will come to silence you. They're gonna silence me? Oh, thanks for worrying about me, Uncle Reed. But who are they? <laughs> I, I ignore Miyuri's question. So, Lukaku, are you making sure to practice with Semin with Samadere like I told you? Y yes, I do practice swings once a day. As long as you carry and carry to master the, S the Saishin Zanma school of swordsmanship, you can prevent the dark flame inside your room. So <laughs> okay, now I'm really starting to sound like Tanaka. Yes, now my four dark devils are structure is the slave of the land. <laughs> Demon sword Samadere may be an imitation sword, but that is the only form it takes to hide from the world. Oh my god, this is... I'm so, Now really, it just, it just sounds... This, when he's when he talking about demon stuff, that really sounds like Tanaka. When worthy to, to wield it appears, it releases its true power. It was on sale for only 980 yen. Text good. <laughs> Th thank you, Okaba-san. It was a wonderful present. My name isn't Okaba. Uh, Okabe. <laughs> it's Elkarine! <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Kiyoma-san. How <laughs> could you wonder if I did the... the... <laughs> I'm sorry, Kiyoma-san! <laughs> Just imagine doing the Rod Delight voice. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, I don't know if this, this person doesn't seem quite that, that ridiculous yet. <laughs> As long as you understand, now speak the words. Uh, uh, um, il sai kangalo? Kangoogaloo? No, not kangaloo! Kongru! Is osai kangaroo? <laughs> yes. El sai kangaroo. Did, did I get it right? Lukaku, look how goes happens. Ha smiles happily as I nod. Thank you. Such a lovely smile. But he's a guy! But he's a guy! But he's a guy! But he's a guy! Stop it! <laughs> Start punching himself in the crotch like, Stop it! Stop it! Damn you! <laughs> but I can only convince you! Such a beautiful master cipher relationship. Like, she's not a, a Fujoshi, but she's getting a little getting a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> she looks very excited. Um, Mayuri-chan, please don't imagine such things. <laughs> Jeez. Though we do have a master disciple relationship. Aha! I, Ho Hyohin Kyoma, have have gone to great lengths to bring I, I I mean teach Lukaku about the evil conspiracies that rule the world and how to resist them. That stuff about demon swords on Madera is part of that training. Looks, looks aside, Lukaku is very obedient and hardworking. Plus, he's always eager to learn new things. Our master could always could ask for a couldn't ask for a better disciple. Though he does have the weakness of not catching on too quickly and being too shy. Not. <laughs> No, I, I don't know. Brian Delight was like a total spaz. This person's not a spaz, so from I can tell they got a skull in their head. What are you doing here, Mary? I came to see Luca Kun. Uh, call me, Maz. Coming up next month, and I want it, and I want him to cosplay as Kikari Chan from Ryan, but he won't say yes. <laughs> oh my! Wait, is that? Let's get. Is that a girl? He's asking him to dress up as. 
The hero, yes, the hero of Raiku, Raikune Kakekaru. Her full name is Nishimura Kirai, Kirari, but she is a smart, athletic girl in fifth grade. She's also cute and has a girl personality. Basically, the perfect girl, passionate about fashion, hates mushrooms. <laughs> actually, that sounds like, uh, well, actually, that's, that's like, is that like Naya's, like, uh, polar opposite? That was, that was what, none of the things not Maya loved, right? Among the eight million other things. Or, not my Naya. <laughs> Naya loves mushrooms. Naya loves mountains, too. Uh, okay. I think the, the other things are what, a com like a Comic-Con or, or, or a anime convention. But cosplaying, that's just too embarrassing for me. I'm sure you look great in it. The phrase, someone this cute can't be a girl, is really popular, you know? Come on, make your cosplay debut! <laughs> Yuri's hobby is making costumes. She's made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. I'm kind of curious, actually. What? A, <laughs> I want to read that. I kind of want to read that last one. It's like this is cute. It's not a real world to use this phrase. Whenever you see someone who you see who's... Whenever you see someone who looks like a cute girl, but is either an unspecified gender or actually a boy's expression, he's also used sarcastically with boyish-looking girls. <laughs> uh, she's made at least 30 so far, but it's rare to see her wear one herself. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing other people wear them. It looks like she shares the Nukaku as her next target. Naps the costume Mary is currently raving about is that for a female character. Normally I would understand why a man would want to dress like a girl, but come on. <laughs> Lukaku has no problem wearing Miko robes. Why should why should he why should cosplay any be any different? Whatever, I bits to take care of. <laughs> I don't have time to listen to you, penis. Save the trivial stuff for later. Eh, but it's really important to me, Yushi. It's trivial to me. Anyway, Lukaku, there's a good reason for me to be here today. I need you to, to perform an exorcism. In, in exorcism? Then I'll go get my dad. P please wait. No, it's nothing that serious. I just need some peace of mind. That's, wh that's why I came here here instead of Kanda Shrine. So that said, bring out the usual. Um, the usual? You mean the Samadere? No! Who the hell used a demon for that was over an exorcism? <laughs> the usual for an exorcism should be obvious. Uh, um... I don't know what it's called, but it's that stick with the zigzaggy paper, that thing that the paper the priest does a shaky thing with. Like hoogity boogity boogity boogity. Ah, uh, that sounds really sounded really dumb, oh green. <laughs> Quite a shock to hear that from Mayuri. <laughs> oh, the Unusha. Uh, but I I don't know if my father will lend it to me. I'll go ask him. Kako makes a quick bow and then runs off towards the house, which is on the shrine grounds. Meanwhile, Miyuri takes her pocket watch out of her bag to check the time. Ooh, pretty. It's a very old watch, not the sort of you'd expect a high school girl to carry. Her its name is Pockety. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, hello there, Pockety. How are you, you doing? <laughs> oh my god. I kinda wanna take Miyuri up and like put her in my pocket and carry I wanna carry Miyuri with me and she come out and say funny things. I was at the same Miyuri give it, not as brand or anything. Ever since elementary school, my area has carried Pockety with her everywhere. It's our most important treasure. Well, time for me to go. Go to work. Do your best. You're, you're going straight home afterwards. Yep. Mariela lives in Ike, Ikebukuro. Ike, Ike, Ber, ugh. <laughs> Ikebukuro. She comes to Ikeba by train just about every day. Should be obvious since we're childhood friends and all, but I live in Ikebukuro too. Though I have been staying at the lab since some big break began. See you tomorrow. I call Mayuri to stop before she trots off. Oh! <laughs> Wait, Mayuri, back at Radio Kaiken, you heard a man scream, right? Scream? Mayuri blinks several times with her finger to her temple as if, as if in thought, and she gives her usual smile. What was that again? This afternoon. I don't think I heard anything. Oh, well, alright. Ocarine's a weirdo! <laughs> bye bye, do do do! Mary leaves this time for good, though she pauses to wave at least a half a dozen times before her head bearing beyond the archway. <laughs> bye! Bye bye! Yes, I still see you. I can. Alright, just, just just go, Mayuri! <laughs> Thank you for waiting, Okaba san. Okaka returns slowly after Mayuri leaves. His hand is the white zigzaggy thing I asked for. <laughs> Dad, let me borrow it. Thank goodness. Um, did Mayuri chan leave? Don't worry about Mayuri. Be in the exorcism at once, Lukaku! Um, okay, but do you really want me to do it? What exactly am I exercising anyway? L Lukaku is flustered. Is he really up to this? We get into doubt. <laughs> I should have I should have known better. The instant doubt touches my heart. A terrible chill shoots up into my balls. 
God, it's evil spirit in my arm. <laughs> oh my God. Now I really am gelling Tanaka. It's in my arm. I must bandage it. Grab my violently shaking wrists. Be still, foul spirit. God, hurry, Lukaku. It's trying to take over. No way. Please hang in there, okabe -san. Please hang in there. I'm sorry. I keep wanting to bring up the stupid rod of light. <laughs> Please hang in there, okabe -san. I'm not okabe -san. <laughs> Okay, he starts crying. I'm sorry, kiyomo -san, but what should I do? <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe he is a little bit like Ron like, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, God. That's Ron Delight, you. <laughs> the exit, hurry! Just do it like I taught you! Uh, okay. Sir, so God's face, Lukaku grasped the un Unusha with both hands if it were a sword. Oh, you're sobbing! It's that's impressive, I've taught him well. <laughs> um, um. This is red and he can barely talk. It's like he wants to say something, but he's hesitating. Panicking because he feels awkward? Shh, amateur. Uh, please, Luca, eh, spell this spirit from me. Ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, bing bang, walla walla bing bang. I don't want to kill you. Uh. <laughs> Lukaku starts crying. Lukaku starts crying. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't. Please stop. I can't. So he's really worried. <laughs> Damn, dude, chill out. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely parents make you feel guilty, like I made a frail girl cry. No, no, it's okay. Despite the tears welling up his eyes, looks like Luke Hawkins managed to work up his resolve. Hear me, evil spirit! He raises up the Inusha vibe, shaking it left and right. Please leave for Makab. I, I mean, Kyoma son! That's great, now strike my arm with those zigzags! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the day with the Unosha touches my upper arm. Da! Ah! In an anime, this would be cue for some dramatic shockwave to occur, but nothing like happens. So I make instead I just make sounds with my mouth. Boom! <laughs> oh my God! I feel sweet demon power flowing through my veins. I mean, no, not flowing through my veins. It's gone now. The only sound is the chirping of cicadas. Did it work? Take a deep breath. Trembling in my arm has stopped. I'm okay. It looks like you drove away the evil spirit. Good job, Lukaku. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like how all of his friends kind of just roll with his goofy insanity. Like this, he's this. Lukaku seems to totally believe everything he's saying. <laughs> Lukaku sighs with relief and blushes. Oh, I'm glad I was able to help. His shy smile really does make him look like a girl. <laughs> but he's a guy. But he's a guy. But he's a guy. But he's a guy. If I get back to the lab, I take the broken TV down to the brawn tube, workshop for repairs. Dara and Miyuri have gone home, so I have to carry the TV down to the narrow staircase my, myself. It's brutal backbreaking work, but I manage. First the workshop door open with my hips and head inside. The room is dimly lit by the setting sun, but the, the gloom is offset by the glare from a gigantic CRT in the center of the room. A 42 inch CRT, te a CRT television. Doesn't seem like something you get in a modern Japan. LCDs, TVs becoming the new standard. I seriously doubt anyone would a bulky old CRT. Hey! Hey, look, it's the shopkeeper. <laughs> it's Deodara! <laughs> Dude, Deodara, man, you got even more. You got, you've been working out, man. You got fucking diesel. Jack Hummer! Mmm! Yo, what's up, Okabe? Sitting in, front, sitting in front of the huge CRTs, an equally huge man reading a sports newspaper. He's the workshop. The manager, actually the owner of this whole building, Denuji Yugo. I call him Mr. Broad. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that is, dude, he's right. He actually, he could be like, he could be Mr. Clean. It's a fitting name for someone who loves broad tubes. <laughs> yes, and he's also got, you know, a mass, massive broad. What's, what's up? The TV you gave me broke. That's, that's what. I bet you were treating it rough, weren't you? I barely managed to set the, the heavy, heavy TV on the counter. Love, you gotta dream with love. I must have bound ball guy talking about love. He says shivers down on my balls. I'll need repairs post haste. Man, why do you always talk like that? <laughs> Mr. Braun begins investigating the cause of the problem. With nothing better to do, I look around the shop, the store. I don't know if it's just the dust hanging in the air, but something feels stagnant about this place. There are CRT screens everywhere. 
How about some layout makes me you seem like junk? They're all functional according to the Mr. Broad. Uh, what the hell? Oh, god dang it, Mayuri. Oop is super popular, you know? Even more popular than the hero Kaku Raccoon. They're so cute, I want to collect them all. It's like how you how you used to collect black figureless claws, remember? <laughs> Open attachment? Oh! Ah ha ha ha! Look at that! Indeed, but you must never speak of that to anyone else. It was necessary to seal the abomination lying dormant in this right arm of mine. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my sweet mother of god. <laughs> am, I, am I sure I'm not really Tanaka, just in a lab coat? <laughs> Don't tell anyone, Mayuri! Go through! Tell you, Mayuri. Uh, Buttrolls, according to Mr. Broad. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screen and HD CRTs that came out just before the LCDs took the market. You're open late today. Don't usually close around 7. Crowds at Nakiba thin quickly at night. All the major electronic stores close around 8 or, eight or 9 o'clock. And then, as if the liveliness of the day was simply a lie, the town goes silent. I'm expecting someone. I'm expecting someone. You mean that chipmunk of yours? Don't be calling my little girl a chipmunk, you hear? The manager glares at me and takes a photo from his wallet. It's a picture of a young girl, shyly making a peace sign at the camera. I might assume this muscle-bound man he's some kind of pervert, but the arrow's actually his daughter. He's about 12 years old now, I think. His love for her is second only to his love for CRTs. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> I see her in the store every now and again. What was her name again? If you touch, if you touch Nye, you're dead. <laughs> I will fucking murder the shit out of you. That's it, Nai. A rare name that, mean, that means to braid. Nay, Nai. Something. <laughs> she pops up at the store now and again, and so we, in we interacted with her before. By we, I mean Yuri, since she's the only one, the only one Nai gets along with. Nai always hides when he sees da me or Daru. I must admit, I'm impressed you can sense my aura of madness at such an early age. <laughs> Mr. Braun makes a grandiose kissing gesture at his daughter's photo. <laughs> Once again, shivers down my spine. <laughs> what? She loves his daughter. I think it's cute. But seriously, besides your daughter, was this has this workshop ever had a customer? Renting the second floor for about six months, but I don't recall you ever seeing a customer. I'd be surprised this this place were actually making any money. Ain't a customer. Puts a, puts away the photo and goes back to checking the TV, leaving me with that vague answer. What? <laughs> what? Huh, it's probably just a lo loose sold. Sold solder on the on the board. I can fix it. Really? Then well then, by all means. Hold on, I'll get you an estimate. What? You're charging me? What'd you think? This ain't some charity. You're the one who gave us the TV. Yeah. So what? I said I'd serve service it for free. Curse you! You you asked some gold to say that after force forcing a half broken piece of junk onto us. Oh shut up! If you want it? I can take it back. They'll have to charge you for a safe safe disposal. Extortion! You dare cheat the man who very well may change the future of mankind! Ha! Ah, who's that now? He, of course, who else? <laughs> Why don't your teeth and go to sleep, kid? Got some nerd be back talking me when I let lend you rent the second floor for next to nothing. <laughs> you shall have your money, Mr. Fraud. In the end, I'm no match for him. And his fucking sexy biceps. Just then I heard the door open. Ah! Look, we see uh, a girl has entered the store. Wearing a vintage jacket and tight shorts that highlight her, her long limbs and athletic figure. And I was so particularly impressed by her well defined thighs. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Suddenly, time stops. Feels like someone activated the world. Wait, wait what? What's that? The power to stop time, one of the supernatural abilities called stands that appear in popular manga, Juju's it Juju's of our bizarre adventures. So this is the ability to use stands are called stand users. Ah, okay. Um <laughs> girl standing there with her arm in the air, her smile gradually fades into confusion. <laughs> what kind of reaction was she hoping for? Seriously. Anyway, is she the person Mr. Braun was expecting? Is she someone he knows personally? Another daughter? Or dare I say, his girlfriend? My god. She finally drops her pose and clears her throat. Um, I called earlier. Um, I called earlier. Um, of a money. 
Just like that, time starts moving again. Oh, you're the kid for the job interview. I'm Ten Tenoji, the manager. A job interview with this young woman? You want to work at this dull, dirty, depressing, debt-ridden, brawn tube workshop with this filthy old manager? You want an extra thousand yen out of your rent? I words about the truth, though I suppose it's not my place to get involved. Anyway, I had no idea the brawn tube workshop was hiring. It was so free. I didn't know you need help. Help. Actually, I'm the one who bit for the job. <laughs> this, the girl looks a little embarrassed. The boss refused at first, but I wouldn't take no for an answer. I, w I wouldn't take no for an answer. Maybe she would. Maybe give her like the Sheena voice. That's honestly surprising. Kids would dri drive a rear these days. Take a seat right there, young lady. Oh, thank you. I probably could. She seems more like a like a laid back kind of like like I'm one of the bros kind of guy maybe right it's sort of getting at least my initial impression here I'll give it her the Sheena voice uh, we'll see how it goes might not be appropriate but I'll see Looks like they're going to have a formal interview I was going to leave but since mr. Braun hasn't kicked me out I'll stick around a bit longer the girls expression is stiff I guess she's nervous it's because of a part-time job interview contrast how she how she said she wouldn't take no for an answer she didn't seem so enthusiastic Right, what was your name again? Amane Suzu Suzuha. Age? 18. Same as me. Student? No. She shakes her head. Why do you want to work here? Because I love CRTs. Uh, hired, you start tomorrow. <laughs> what? Wait, what? This is some sort of joke. Are we on camera? Th thanks, boss. Finally, Mana Suzuha seems to relax. She looks at me. Um, who are, who are you? Who are you? You dare ask my name? Banish the thought from your head, girl. To learn it would be your, would place your life in, in life in jeopardy. Countless women have learned my name only to find this as targets of the organization. Sarah in America, Claudia in Italy, Simone in France. I won't put anyone else in danger. Hey, stop pulling things out of your ass. She doesn't seem to understand my pain. Idiot rents the second floor. His name, name's Okabe Rintaro. My name's not Kabe, it's Ho Hyohin. Quit or I raise your rent. Uh, uh, ah, I'm Akabe Rintaro. <laughs> Girl stands up, places her hands on my shoulder, and looks me in the, with a serious expression. I don't know think about this organization. That's after you. But if you're having trouble, Okabe Rintaro, let me know. I can help with you. I can help with stuff like that. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like, like what? I just say I can hurt him so bad they'll never bother you again. M Mr. Broad, I don't think you should hire her. <laughs> yeah, she might, yeah, she might be a wild one. I'll fire her if she causes any trouble. Anyway, ignore the organization nonsense. It's all in Akabe's head. It is? You just keep thinking that. Someday, the world will kneel before me. Maha! And then Amani Suza, Suza, Zua. Stare, stare straight at me again. If she has a habit of looking people in the eye. So that's the current trend. Thanks for the tip. I think the I think the Sheena voice could work. I, I'm sure I'm sure in the anime, you know, the dub, the English dub probably didn't have her with that accent. But uh, yeah, guys, gotta cut me a little bit of slack because I don't have a whole lot of female voices I can use. <laughs> There's only so many girl voices I could do. <laughs> My voice wasn't built for that. Trend? I don't think so. Hopefully, it doesn't bother too many people. So hot. Oh, I got more stuff. Oh, Lukaku. Are you really okay with yesterday's exorcism? I feel like more traditional ceremony would have been better. I w I'm worried something might happen to you because my exorcism wasn't strong enough. It bothers me so much. I, I can't sleep at night. Yes, because of that, I couldn't do more than three practice swings for S Samadere. Hmm. Uh, okay, with exorcism, I feel like a tr more traditional ceremony would have been better. I s might happen to you. Uh, don't worry. Thanks, thanks to your exorcism, my right home has been quite, quite for a while. So there's no telling what could happen. Set it off. I'm forced to battle, do battle again. Let's just pray the organization assassins don't fight me. <laughs> Interesting. I'm wondering. I mean, is there, is this affecting like time? It doesn't seem like. I mean, now it seems like my messages aren't doing anything, right? Right? That's it. 
This is, this is that file I got earlier, right? It's just... Whoa. It's going forever? Oh. It's like a whole bunch of gibberish. We had the video file, right? Huh. So hot. So at university all morning, as I return to Akiba, the heat is now becoming unbearable. I'll grab a nice coffee at the bakery inside y Yodabashi to quench my thirst. Well, I'm at it, I'll, I, I guess I'll check at channel on my phone. I'm frequently, I mostly frequent the occult board, the feature of technology board, and sometimes the physics board. I search for threads on the mass disappearance phenomenon or Makise Kurisu stabbing, but turn up nothing. So those, so those were those hallucinations after all. I peek at the occult board, I find, my, find posts in multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Titter. Wait, John, John T, Titor, is it Titor, 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 John Titor is back. Titor, Titor, John Titor appeared on, on an American BBS 10 years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. Apparently this is actually a real thing. I went and actually looked it up. It's like, it's kind of, kind of wild. He had a child from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer. IB, IBN 5100, his claims started quite a storm among the BBS citizens. IBN, oh, okay, that's fictional. Uh, okay, I see. Uh, like, I, like uh, IBM. Uh -huh. An American computer company, not only do they develop and sell hardware, they also offer services and consultation to enterprises. In recent years, they have made the latter their main focus. IBN, invented floppy disks and hard disk drives. Is that true about I? Actually, I think it is true about IBM. IBM is one of the, it's like one of the oldest uh, computer companies, I think, right? They've been around for a long time. Titor, Titor has, has also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. The start of the Iraq War and the spread of the Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease, for example. Okay, that I gotta look up. I don't know what that is. Oh. Mad Cow. No name for the bovine spongiform enthalopathy. But only use. In the case of human infection, early symptoms include memory loss and neural movement, pers personality changes, dementia, and muscle stiffness. Kept all case, the, the patient may waste for, wait for two, one or two years for the dying of respiratory paralysis or other complications. I see. Tamuri from the future. He explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of his mob operation manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. On the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradict each other, too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. I think it was probably just bullshit, but... So after ten years of silence, the same John, John Titter is now on the Japanese BBS. Ridiculous. Obviously a troll. <laughs> okay, I just want to see what they how they define a troll here. Under uh, to post controversial opinions or false information for the purpose of provoking a reaction. Oh, okay. That was much more textbook. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something funny. I don't know. <laughs> a small little green man with poofy hair. They can it, you, it, that they had little dolls actually up back in the day. First of all, John Titter is an Amer is American, yet now he's posting on that channel in Japanese. Let's take a look at his posts. Uh, I don't expect you to believe that I came from the year 2036. See that er I see that everyone would like to know m more about my time machine travel. The time traveling pro technology developed by CERN. They completed the first time machine in 2034. T t time travel lol. John Titter lol. More details on the time machine! There's all time machines over the cost of about 100 million years. Sam, can you send me one play? Huh. Oh, it's going. Uh, CERN has a monopoly on time machines. Not Even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one to say nothing of private civilians. CERN uses this time machine for power. By 2036, the world has become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, that is a false piece founded on the complete eradication of liberty. What, what does lull mean? <laughs> Why did you come to this time? Was the Akiba Satellite crash you were doing? You did it! Wait, wait, guys. Don't understand at channel lingo. Let's keep it simple, okay? You know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> get, get a trip code, asshole. Ah, fortunate. <laughs> I came here to change my, my present. In other words, your future. My mission is to destroy certain dystopia and restore freedom to the world. It's a wonderful time you're living in. Everyone is free, but you will lose it all in just 20 short years. It's only important that you understand what the future has in store. It's always some shit like that. It's always like, Scott, it's coming, dude! What is a trip code? I might get one if you tell me what it is. 
Yeah, you only said CERN has time machines. Yeah, time machine. That makes me you're working for CERN. Therefore, your goal can't be to destroy CERN's dystopia. You're fraud. You're a liar. Meh. What's a dystopia? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, how can CERN take over the world in 20 years? Looking in the Middle East, you've been reading too much manga, dude. You think you can get those guys stop killing each other? Who asked to change future? You trying to play God? They're playing the world peace. They're pressing world peace, and I'm more welcome over our new CERN overlords. Aha. Uh -huh. My time machine is a prototype reverse engineer from stolen CERN technology. Compared to their time machine, its capabilities are quite limited. In 2036, the rule, the world is ruled by a single, all-powerful governing body. We control every aspect of our lives, deciding what we will eat, where we will live, and whom we will marry. There is no privacy and no choice. Everybody who dares oppose them is eliminated. There are no trials. Dude, the movies, stuff, stuff, small changes to the, to the past cause huge changes to the future. Before I change the present by coming here, what happens if you make unexpected changes to the future? <laughs> I put... Flying CERN rules the world. Do you even know what CERN is? <laughs> Lol. OP is a troll! You're a troll! You're a, you're a troll! So we find his dad kill him in, the, in this time travel. Laughing my ass off. We'll be... We'll never be born. We won't be able to listen to his bullshit. Am, am I right? <laughs> am I right? <laughs> We're right. I don't know if you can... I thought you can meet your past self. Can you... Can you have a self cest <laughs> How like he... He's just ignoring everybody. He's like, I don't care. We're talking about the so-called grandfather paradox. That has been debunked. The world, the world line has had divergence of 0.57 blogity blogity percent compared to the world line I came from. Then my father would alter divergent, divergence, creating a world line where my father is dead. However, it would not erase this wor world line. I would go on existing. CERN is a particle physics research in research institution. That has to change in 2036. It's possible to meet your past self. The prevailing theory in my time is that nothing would happen. However, I have met my past self. If you are really a time travel, then fucking prove it. Post time machine, back so get the fuck out. Do it now. The many world interpretations. Whoa, slow down, bro. And like fuck you, and I kicked you in the face with their energy legs. Research institution taking over the world. Huh, huh, lol, what? I do not need feel the need to pr to prove that, that what I I am what I say. I am I am only posting these messages on a whim. My mission comes first. <laughs> My mission comes first, but I feel the need to tell everybody about it. I, I don't need to, but I want to, because I want attention. Like, look at me. What are world lines? Can you make yourself from another world line? What happens if you do? Chirp, uh, a chirp code is a way to identify posters. Put hashtag password for your name. Ha! Huh, backpedaling. World lines are like an infinite number of rivers flowing in parallel. Along the way, they are constantly branching out to new world lines. This is called divergence. For example, whether or not you post this message on mess on a source is practically no effect on this world's line's divergence. But if you were murdered, let's say, the divergence would change. However, it would only change by about 0.0002% of that. A single human's death is not terribly significant on a global scale. World wars, disasters, acts of terrorism, and other events that cause widespread death and destruction have a much greater effect on the divergence. Thanks for telling me how trick codes. I'll make sure you use this one from now on. I'm starting to get tired, so let's pick up again tomorrow. It's been fun to talk to everyone. Yeah, that's like... It, it, again, this is the this is the kind of thing, it's it's unfalsifiable. By, by this, uh... His, uh, definition of... Uh, how the time... How time flow works, saying, okay, well... You know, if it doesn't happen, then it's just because you have a fucking divergence, right? My presence changed the future or something, you know? But again, it's, it's, it's just like the original John Titter, that nothing... He said really could be proven false because of how he described it, so. They've already made an archive of these threads. Of course, they, they have been sites dedicated to John Titter for years now. The most closely resembles what the original Titter wrote ten years ago. I've read one of the books on, tit on Titter, that's how I know. This new John Titter is clearly an imposter. There are many Titter fanatics on that channel. It's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for his, this level of trolling. Continue to read, however, I found the response to the response, the opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time trial as if this were his first appearance. Nobody's even mentioned his appearance ten years ago. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, interesting. So I did something. I made a change. I guess again when I sent that message I, I guess when I affected the the uh, time before with Changing Marie, Marie, uh, Risa Caruso's death, it also changed the appearance of John Titter. So now this is the first time he's showing up, or something, right? That's strange. I tried posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the hell? 
Chris, how do you do with the research, people? There's the, there's the original John Titter thread archive in English and plenty of the Titter blogs in Japanese. Put John Titter's name into a search engine. 12 matches. Wait, only 12? Over all 12 are about the current Titter's postings on that channel. I found a single trace of the Titter from 10 years ago. Sorry, this just can't be. Just for information on Titter a few years ago, back then I got tens of thousands of hits. Is the search engine filtered? Try searching another site just to make sure, but it gives me the same result. What is this madness? It's like I stumbled onto another plane of reality. It's be another organization conspiracy. By which I mean it's all of my fucking crazy brain. These past two days I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. I'll call Daru. He'll know about Titter for sure. After all, I talked to him about Titter, about Titter before. I only vaguely remember the details of that conversation. I'm positive that the conversation happened. It's time I dig my phone out of my bag, I no longer feel like making the call. Said I sent an email on the way back to the lab. He replies with his location. Oh my god. By May Queen, he means May Queen plus Nyan. <laughs> Neon too. Neon cat. A May Cafe. Oh my god. That was a regular there. Apparently 3D cat maids are his thing too. Oh my god. I'm so horny for you. Please. Please make babies with me. May Queen plus <laughs> and Neon too is only a three minute walk from the lab. Coming from. Kuramabashi Dori, taking a left at the Tsukumakoisaka uh, crossing, and you'll find it. And that's where I headed now. I like that he gets directions like, I could, I could just go there right now if I wanted to. It's usually busy in Akiba during summer break, but now it's even busier because of the right Radio Kaiken incident. The area was blocked off yesterday, but it doesn't look like they could keep the main road closed for two days straight. I haven't seen a single police officer today. Oh my god. The Rio Kaiken building still seems off limits. Dental shutters are closed and sealed with yellow police tape. We're here now in Akibara, Akibara, the day after the unexplained satellite crash. The police, the police barricade has been lifted and a tremendous number of people have gathered in front of the station. The satellite's origin is still under investigation. We're told that it can't be removed until the authorities have more information. According to the police, the satellite does not appear to be dangerous. However, tourists and local business owners have raised concerns. The media has dozens of cameras set up outside the police out of the police line. Nearly twice as many onlookers as reporters, and to fill the entire street with people. Everyone's aiming their phone cameras at the satellite-like object. So many people. Living in Cuba, you get used to big crowds and events, but a gathering at this size is unusual. Wonder when they'll get rid of that thing. Hope it doesn't explode or something. They've been letting people back into the area, so I guess there's no danger. Still, considering it's unknown origin, I'm surprised there isn't more security. Today, like always, otakus are shopping over do Dujinshi. Dujinshi is a port games, electronics, or whatever that strikes their fancy. You know, I've never really been sure what that is. Is that like a, it's like a spinoff or something? A fan created amateur manga, which are often, but not always, adult in nature. Okay, these are sold at special Dujinshi, ju Dujinshi events, the biggest of which is the twice annual Comic Giga Market, also known by fans as Comic Com Komima. That's what he, she was talking about, right? Aside from the scene at Radio Kaikin, it's the same as in any other day, but I still don't understand what I saw yesterday. I've half accepted, half accepted that the mass disappearance is just my imagination. May have become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, like the media like, likes to say about teenagers these days. With that thought in mind, I return my gaze to the street. And there in front of me stands a woman holding her phone in her front of her face. Ah! Ah! I took a picture. Her phone was clearly pointed at me. I to cover my face, but not quickly enough. Damn! Turned around just to make sure there wasn't pointing at someone behind me, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh-oh. She's just staring at her phone. Then glancing at me, she turns around and points her phone at some other pedestrians. Maybe she's taking photos of everyone at the scene, not just me. But still, I need to have a word with her. The organization is after me, so I can't risk that photo getting out. Wait, wait, wait! She doesn't turn around. She's so engrossed in that photograph, her photography, that she doesn't even notice me. Does she not catch my magnificent night native level English? Hey, you with the phone camera. Wait, please wait. <laughs> she turns back, finally noticing me. And of course, the phone turns with her. Hey, no pictures. Are you with the organization? <laughs> she completely ignores my objection and goes back to looking at her phone. Answer my questions. Are you with the organization? She is, and I may have to take, make, have to take super measures. You're not? 
<laughs> it just keeps changing. Possibly an organization spy. <laughs> Probably not organization spy. So I can't let you keep that picture. The organization will stop at nothing by my whereabouts, and they will kill anyone who gets in their way. I need you to leave that picture immediately. <laughs> Lady ignoring me. <laughs> she even listening? Sorry. Wow, she finally speaks. Just a whisper, but it's something. If I... <laughs> Lady, who <apolog> <laughs> Lady who apologized. Lady who apologized out of nowhere. If I upset you, upset you. She lowers her head slightly in a bow. Or at least I think it's a bow. She's been looking down all this time, so I can't really tell. Before you apologize, I need you to delete that photo. I was shooting the scenery. Her fingers dance across the phone keys with impressive speed, exactly the opposite of her annoyingly slow speech pattern. <laughs> the scenery, you're a tourist. Or is she the, one of the people who came here to see the satellite? In that case, why did she take a picture of me? She shakes her head without looking at me. It's proof of where I was today. <laughs> lady ignored me as my realized I see you here. <laughs> You're a strange lady. Kiru Moeka. Huh? My name. I guess she's introducing herself. That's nice, but I just wanted to want her to delete that photo. I have a question for you. Oh. I have a question for you. May I? First the phone. There's an urban legend in Akihabara. Have you heard of it? An urban legend? What's she talking about? Don't tell me. There's a brilliant but insane mad scientist said to be lurking in Akihabara. Now that brilliant but insane mad scientist is the target of every assassin in the underworld. Gah! I remain in this town for far too long. I need to make other. I need to make plans. Goodbye. You weren't such a bad town. I'm glad. I'm glad. The Phantom Retro PC. Retro PC. She flies with a nod, or something like a nod. They say there's one, Nakia Barra. Oh. <laughs> Nothing about a mind scientist. I'm relieved, but also disappointed. Nah. <laughs> I felt important for a little bit. Nah. <laughs> anyway, this is the first time I've heard about a phantom retro PC. Retro PC, mean like 98. And that is. Hmm. Japanese PC series sold from the mid 1980s to the mid 1990s. It also it sold so well that at one point it was called the National Computer. Ah. It's the first model that comes to mind, but our 90 is really that hard to find. She shakes her head slightly, or someone like a, sh or something like a shake. No, this. She turns her phone towards me. The screen shows an oddly shaped computer. It's hard to tell since the picture, the picture is monochrome, but it looks like some kind of PC. It looks kind of familiar. IBM 5100. IBM 5100. That's a computer John Titter tried to get. Fingers twitch, I think. Oh. You've seen one. N no, I've only heard the name. Coincidence? No. This could be the choice of Steins Gate. Know anyone who might know? Daru probably knows more about it. It's my favorite right arm. A super hacker capable of breaking into MI6's mainframe. Yeah, my sixth part is a slight exaggeration. If that ever did happen, men in black would break down our door and take us away. <laughs> but the super hacker part is true. Depths of his computer knowledge is uncanny. Speaking of Dar, I'm supposed to meet him at my May Queen night Neon 2. Or Neon Squared. I don't have time to stand and chow some crazy lady, I don't know. God, you're even crazier than I am. Well, I'm off, lady. Medius, Medius, lady. Media scrum in moderation. <laughs> Try to make a smooth exit, one liner and every and everything, but she grabs my sleep before I can disappear to the crowd. Uh, wh what are you doing? Your email, please. Wh what are you after? The super hacker. I guess you must hear Daru's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Balls. Well, I'm meeting up with Daru, so I why not just take her along? No, wait a second. This could be a devious trap. Maybe she's really a spy sent to kidnap Daru. Defenses without him. <laughs> My only ally is Murray, who skills him out to costume design. <laughs> and saying Tujuru a whole lot. And being goofy. <laughs> I refuse. I'll never give up Daru. I slip past her and start walking faster. I collect back. Oh, God. <laughs> She's following me. Uh, ah, ah! <laughs> I pick up the pace. She's still chasing me. <laughs> mm. Stop following me! I'm perturbed, she shows me her phone again. The screen in the picture is that picture of me that she took. God, you still haven't deleted it! Tell Tell me, and I'll delete it. 
You dare blackmail me? Who do you work for? To declare her into submission. Her eyes are already lowered. Declare is ineffective. Hi. She, she hesitates for a second. Work part time at Arc Rewrite. What's what's that? An, edit, an editorial company here in Akihabara. Those companies that write articles for magazines. Is this gloomy lady really fit for that kind of work? Wait, you plan on publishing my picture without permission, don't you? The mad scientist Akiba unveiled. I can see the headlines now. It's all the organization really needs to turn Akiba into a sea blood blood. No, I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all costs. I have no choice. Very well, I accept your terms. And anyway, as long as she has a photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pull up my email address and show it to her. You decide to get back the photo. To get back the photo, you're gonna give her more information about yourself. That's a great idea, Rintar. <laughs> I am a doodle. Back and forth from my phone to her. She enters my phone with a terrifying speed. <laughs> oh my god. Are you bionic? Ah! <laughs> no, I I'm an es I'm an esper! <laughs> Of course, this woman is an esper. Let's see where they define esper. General per, per human and possess supernatural powers. Common powers that include telepathy, telekinesis, precognition. The more exotic powers exist. Just remember that some espers even possess the ability to reshape reality with pure forces of will, like Dr. Manhattan. Derives from the term ESP, which stands for extrasensory perception. I'm an esper. Oh, my hero. Why did you have to fucking try to kill me? <laughs> I'm still hospital in this day. I dub her power, Shining Finger! <laughs> Shining Finger! Her magical thumb types curse emails at 255 characters per minute. Whoever receives one dies. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's awesome. I want that power. She's done typing my address. Took all five seconds. Name? Hyohin <laughs> Kiyoma, mad scientist. How is it spelled? First Hyoho for Phoenix, then in. And finally, Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be realized. Huh? <laughs> Yo, for Phoenix, then in. And finally, Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be re re revealed. I repeat my perfect explanation. It's the origin of my true name. Explaining the in part of Hyo Hyohin would take too long, so I left it out. Here's my name with her held tips to the side. <laughs> what? Like this? <laughs> What the hell is this? Are you mocking me? Oh, he yo yo wing yo ma yo wing. <laughs> she lowers her head a little more. An apologetic bow, I guess. Just hand me your phone. I'll enter it. Shakes her head, clutching her phone with both hands, as if to protect it from me. <laughs> like a spoiled child who can't let go of her toy, she shields it from me with her all her might. What does she think I'm going to do? Her reaction is a little depressing. <laughs> You're making me sad. Stop it. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand her phone over, so I ask her to, for her address instead, and I'll send her a blank mail. She told me her name a few minutes ago, but I already forgot it, so I enter her a shining finger. <laughs> shining finger. What am I doing standing here in the middle of the street? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm send her a, send her a blank mail. Oh, I don't need to type anything. Just give her my name. I already put in my contacts, just send a blank mail to Shining Finger. Damn it! Do it, for the love of God! <laughs> nah, I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh, the game just did it for me! <laughs> I was like, can I just not do it? She frowns while looking at my, her own phone. And she glances my way. I feel those eyes clearly saying, hurry up. <laughs> I'm hesitant. I'm sure if it's a good idea to give her my true name. Regardless of how long I hesitate, I don't think she'll let go until I send her that email. Sure is persistent. Because I have no choice but to send them an email. Change a few words, then I get away from her as fast as I can. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah, look! Welcome back, Yoster! Yeah. Oh my god, little kitty mage! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Do these actually ex I mean, I know there's made cafes, but are there actually made kitty cafes? <laughs> yeah! Would you like some coffee, Mia? <laughs> Uh, no, it's okay. You don't have to keep saying meow all the time, though. What are you talking about meow? I'm not saying meow meow. <laughs> what? Wait. Hold on. What? I saw you nice coffee. I don't want any more coffee, please. Get away from me. <laughs> Open the door to May Queen Neon Cafe, and two familiar cat ear girls greet me with smiles. It's Queen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't even recognize her with the hat on. One of them is Mayuri. Oh, 
Oh, look, she does wear a costume. But here she's called Miyushi Nyanya. <laughs> so she works here. I stop by, stop by about twice a month. Ah, that's so funny. I go there if you work there, Mayor, just because I want to see you act goofy. Okay, so make me a regular customer. Because I've never seen, never been to any other main cafe. Welcome back, Uncle Reed. After bowing again, Miyuri grasps as if she thought of something. Hey, Okarine! But you should just notice something. Welcome back and Okarine go really well together! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, no, she has the same expressions, too. Uh, okay, are you a new one? Kyo Kyoma, it's great that you came, Mia. Yeah. Mia! Yeah. The other maid who came to greet me, Paris Nyan Nyan. Her professional name, of course. Hits me with her, her trademark combo attack of cute and cat-like gestures. She's May Queen's neon square square most popular bot maid. Even though she and Miyuri are about the same age, she looks and acts a bit younger. Dara Nyan's here to keep a keep a wait. It's been waiting, ya. Yeah. You know what? May I should give oh may I should give her the not the the Maya voice. Yeah. She's actually super cute, super goofy. Dara Nyan's here, if you win, ya. Yeah! <laughs> That's totally good! I need somebody to give this voice to! Daru frequents this cafe because he's he's got a crush on Ferris. Oh, I. Ah, ha, ha. You have to read their public blog while muttering, Ferris, you're so cute, I love you so much, please go out with me, please! Himself. He's got it real bad. <laughs> I keep telling, telling him to choose either 2D or 3D, but he doesn't listen. I also have trouble dealing with this cat girl. She always finds a way to beat best me. Are you holding another secret meeting to overthrow the evil organization, yeah? <laughs> yeah! I see, is that why, it must be why Mayuri keeps doing a, a kitty face. <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. Ferris wants to join too, yeah! No, no chance, they weren't even threatened by cat-eared maids. Now true, yeah, Ferris has a perfect secret technique to ta help take them down. Why did you finally master that secret technique? Yes, Mia, after completing my pilgrimage to the Gua to Kiana Highlands and overcome my mentor's death, I have finally mastered it! What mentor? Ferris knows, knows my true name, Yo Yohin Kiyoma. I've also told her all about the organization. Now she's more she's more into it than I am. She's always the one to bring up the subject whenever we meet. <laughs> By the way, this is the first time I've heard of this secret technique or whatever it is. So Ferris wants to participate in the Spirit Conference like you promised, Mia! Ah, oh, she's not letting it go. It'll take 30 minutes if I play along with her. You're not suggesting we venture to the sanctuary? The answer is no, although you may understand the hidden secrets, you're still too inexperienced. <laughs> uh, but, but you promised you, uh, are you going to betray me? My brother is waiting for me there. So when do you have a brother? What the hell is a spare conference, though, anyway? <laughs> Paris looks at me with actual tears in her eyes. Falter, even though I know it's just one of her QC acts. Damn it! She could cry on cue? Damn, that's some serious talent. Whenever I talk with her, I run out of comebacks, which is really unusual for me. She takes the initiative, leaving me with, uh, with nothing to do but listen to her fantasies. Hey, come on, you can only take it so far. It's a very clear difference between her stories and mine. As anyone can see, I speak nothing but the truth, but while Ferris suddenly deluges and made a backstory. <laughs> that is so funny. So she's like just totally rolling with like his insanity and coming up with shit too, but he's like, no, I'm totally telling the truth. I'm not, I'm nothing like you. Stop it. <laughs> oh, we're doing the same thing. Oh, he's got to play along. So I feel like I never beat that. I, I can never best her. <laughs> um, I don't quite get it, but can we usually go to the sanctuary too? Great. Now look who's joined in. It's all your fault, Paris. It's just going to get worse from here. I have to end this conversation now. Uh, you can't get us gone. This gun's over. That's right, leave me Yushi and Fer Ferris John behind is me! Who's Ferris? Ferris John is Ferris John, right? He's Nostages, he's next Nostages! <laughs> right! Mary and Ferris look at each other and smile. She's talking about this Fer This Ferris? Is that her real name? I've been mistaken all this time. Who the balls is calling me? Uh oh, it's Lukaku. Um, I asked Miyuri, Miyuri chan about what it is you're, you're fighting against, but she just laughed and didn't answer. What should I, what should I do? I want to help Kiyoma-san. <laughs> please help me, please. Okay, Jesus Christ. Shut up, Ron. <laughs> you don't need to know, not yet. Especially if Steinsgate so chooses, you will learn the truth whether you are ready or not. What is Steinsgate anyway? Sid is like, 
Like the, the forces of fate or something? Is that something I've made up too? Well, it named the game after it, so it's gotta be some it's gotta be relatively important. <laughs> That's a disturbing thought. Well, I mean, she has a hard time saying Ferris, so I call her Fair Wait. Faris? Is so wait. I, these look both look the same to me. Ferris and Ferris? Oh no. I would both I would pronounce these the same. <laughs> I'm sure they're probably not, but just saying Ferris, so I call her Ferris John instead. Oh, so that's it. <laughs> it's like we're at a girls' school. That statue is not too tabby. Okay, then, moving on. <laughs> Show me to the table already. How long do you want me to stand here waiting? Yeah, sorry, yeah, table two is waiting, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'll leave this to you, leave to you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave it to me, yeah, yeah. If you hadn't noticed, the cat ear maids out here at McQueen are required to add cat sounds. Nyaz and nyan. They're to their words with some frequency. You know, if that cat said meow, what point did they just, have people decided that cat's also saying nyah? I don't ever hear a cat saying nyah to me. But Kitty, what do you say to me? Meow. That's right, you say meow like a fucking normal cat. Alright? Where did this all this nyah come from? Meow. I, you don't know either? What the fuck, Mr. Kitty? Meow. No, I'm not gonna give you more fish, Mr. Kitty. I don't give a fuck if you're gonna keep begging me. Meow. Oh, now you're just doing the fuck with me, aren't you, you little fuck? You know what? I had tire. You get it here. Here's thirty fish. Now go away. <laughs> Mira takes my hand and leads me aside. Apparently, Miy Miyushi Nyan Yan is the only one who leads customers by hand, like the hand like this. Probably comes naturally to her. She doesn't even realize the effect it has on their customers. But she's second to fear the popularity of this great cafe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that would be a very good idea. <laughs> that would definitely send the wrong message, Shiri Miyuri. She has me to Daru's table. Tables are about 60% full. Oh my god, I love you! Dude, oh, dude, that one, dude, this guy over here is checking her out. Look at her, he's like, he's like, oh my god, dude, no way. Dude, I wish my girlfriend was a cat, too. Dude, you're so weird, dude. Shut up, just don't understand my kinky fetish, all right? God. Among Kiba's make cafes, make Queen Neon Square's popularity is so solid, but not booming. Considering what Ferris and the others are wearing, and it's more like a cosplay cafe than a meat cafe. Furthermore, the cat ears and Nyan 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 <laughs> dialect makes it less accessible to lower level otakus and first timers. On the other hand, those same cat ears are the topic of a heated debate among diehard Bat Make Cafe fans. Do they still have cat ears? Cat ears plus man equals two times MOA. Those, these viewpoints, two viewpoints clash. My brain says no, but my body says yes! This place is one of old, one of the older maid cafes in Akihabara, but it doesn't get such media exposure. I mean, that's what it makes more comfortable than most. And he says, that's what Daru says. Talks about this stuff so much that it's been burned into my synapses. Daru Kun, Okarinis, Okarinis here, Neon. You're, you're way, you're way late. Seriously, man. Daru sits in front of me, but doesn't look my way. He looks upset for some reason. So what were you just talking about with Ferris? I want, I want details. You really want to know? I don't think you'd understand it. Hell, even I didn't get most of it. <laughs> oh, the usual. Your conversations are too much for regular otaku. You guys exude an aura or something, you know? It's like you have your own reality marble. You know I can't forgive you. <laughs> what are you talking about? What did I do? Reality marble. Uh, marble. Oh. Part, I, part of the chin video, guys, I guess. A type of magecraft in which the user overwrites the world with a pocket dimension based on his or her emotional experience. Often used in ordinary conversation to speak of couples sporting in public, immersed in their own world, not caring about the pain they're inflicting on others. <laughs> I think Ferris Chan likes Okarine, Nia. Of all the maids and masters here, Nia, the only one who can keep up with Ferris Chan is you, Okarine. I'm not even close to keeping up with her. I'm so jealous, you, luck you lucky bastard. <laughs> I have no interest in women who dress themselves in lies. Like you're one to talk. Silence, you unfaithful bastard! All your duty wives are crying. Ah! Oh, you struck a nerve, man. <laughs> Daru theatrically grabs his chest and falls on the table. I set one of the for one of the glasses of water that Miyuri brought to the dark table. Master, may I take your order now? Uh, omelet, rice, and hot coffee. Black. Blacker than a moonless night. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see God is sitting there at the table. I'll have what he's having. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except I like mine even blacker than that moonless night. <laughs> I'm, I want it so black that I can see the end of the fucking universe in it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Coming right up, Nyan, yeah. 
Taking my order, Mayuri finds her way towards the counter as they're swimming between the rows of tables. Which is a trip. <laughs> so, what did, so what did you need? Draw us without getting up from the date table. That's right. In my conversation with Shining Finger and Cat Girl, I must have got my original objective. I was gonna have, have him lapping about an hour. I have an urgent matter to discuss, top secret. I lay on the table and scan the air without moving my head. You remember John Titter? John Titter? Who's that? Self-proclaimed time travel appeared on the internet about 10 years ago. I thought we talked about it before. Is this a new edition of your made-up backstory? <laughs> it's nothing like that. Everything I say is true. What a pain. Well, I guess I can play along. So what's the source on this Titter guy being from the future? Well, you've seriously never heard of him before. Seriously, bro, I haven't. Surely you didn't just forget. Can't say for sure. There are even books about him. I might remember if you sh I might remember if you show me one. You really don't remember. Memories fade. We're not computers, man. This is wrong. Remember talking to Dara about John Titter back at high school? It was only idle talk, so it's possible that Dara forgot about it. Dara's quite the internet addict. But let the internet lets you choose what information you want to see. So I guarantee Dara looked up info on John Titter. If he had, I doubt he would have forgotten it so completely. Is it my memories that are mistaken or everyone else's? Then what about IBN 5100? Whoa, you know about that? Cool. So you know about it? It's the model IBN released in 1975. Right, that's what John Titter said on 8 Tat Channel. He traveled back to night traveled to 1975 first, obtained an IBN 5100, then left in 1998. What kind of computer is it? The stupidly expensive kind. Back when it came out, I, computers were so expensive that average people couldn't get their hands on them. It was full of proprietary IBM technology, and it was a pretty powerful computer for its time. But six years later, in 1981, IBM launched the powerful, the popular IBM PC series. That's Now that's more famous. Anyway, it's not like I'm an expert. This is just stuff I read on a wiki. I'm wondering, it, they, they call it Wikipedia? An online system for the creation and compilation of hypertext documents on a web server. Oh. Oh. I guess, I guess Wikibus, Wikibus was probably a thing before Wikipedia, wasn't it? Okay. I didn't realize that, actually. Have you heard the urban legend that, that there's one in Akiba? You bet I have. Just last month, there was a big talk about it on the internet. Someone out channel I was heard the rumors and was searching for it. My friend on Freepa for Para, Sis Sister Centipede, was the main person behind that. Even the legendary Nineheart de de bl bl Blitznell joined the fray, but they couldn't, still couldn't find it. So it's just a hoax. Who knows? There are tons of underground shops in Akiba. It wouldn't be strange if an IBM 5100 suddenly turned up in some hole in the wall. Hmm, I see. Bones oh, silly sore vibrating. Stop there for about three seconds. Looks like I got mail. I check it whenever I want, but, well, okay. Oh. Okabe-san, I bailed you as soon as I could. My name is Kiri Kiryu Moeka. I'm a 20-year-old 20 20 year freelance editor. I believe I mentioned I work part-time at Arc Rewrite. Sorry for taking your picture. It wasn't on purpose. I needed some shots on Akiya Bar for work, and you just happened to be in one. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was hoping to sneak some shots at the satellite. LMAO. <laughs> my, by the way, the picture I took was... Just a test, not the final shot. That's why I was using my phone. If you hadn't begged me to delete it, I wouldn't have posted it, so don't worry. Anyway, I should get to the point. I'm really sorry for asking like this. She, she talks a lot more in the this me in messages, it seems, than she does in real life. Ask like this to Okabe-san, Okabe-kun. But it would be super great if you could, a if you could ask your friend, the super hacker, about, about the IBM 5100. I don't really know what to think about computers, especially old computers. All I have to go on is that picture I showed you. Uh, I'll attach the image. Be absolutely positive to reply, okay? I'll be waiting, if you could. I'd be super happy if you gave me your super hacker friend's email. I'll mail you again. This kid will mail you again, right? Of course it is. Bye! There it is. Oh, come on. What's with this mail? It's regarding the weird timing. Is this really the gloomy, unsociable woman I met in front of a Radio Kaiken? Completely different person in this email. Does she have a split personalities or something? <laughs> well, I got some info about IBM 5100, so I guess I give her a reply. She sent me an if I send an immediate reply to a woman I just met, well, I come off as clingy and desperate. <laughs> I, Hyo in Kiyoma, I will not take be taken lightly. It's my chance to become 
to make her understand which one of us is a superior human being. And above all, I have yet to ascertain if she can be trusted. She must have harassed me if I replied the wrong way. So that she hasn't proven that she's not working for the organization. Nonetheless, it couldn't help hurt to tell her what I, what I learned from Daru. Scorcher, of course. Maha! Uh, let's ignore it. It's out of kindness. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the wait, Daru. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to end for now. It's, it's really hard to find a good, I don't know, stopping point. Because it all kind of flows seamlessly. I mean, I, it's like... It's like trying to wait for a scene change, sometimes it just doesn't come for a while, so... But I think it's as good as play as any to stop, so... It's interesting, very interesting. A lot of, lot of very colorful characters. I'm, I'm, I'm liking how they're they're introducing them, too. Um, seem to be meeting a lot of... Lot of we met a lot of new people today. <laughs> including another... Another trap. <laughs> Which I guess I will never, ever, ever, ever... Figure out myself before they tell us. But what else is new, right? Anyway, like if you enjoy, subscribe now and become Pinky Bang Wonder Boy the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy!